Hello guys, thanks for stopping by. I'm very grateful. In today's video, I will be bringing you my top 10 Montales versus my top 10 Maceros. And I will give you a top 20 list from those 20 fragrances. See you soon. I will take the top 10 from this list, then I will pit it against my next favorite niche fragrances from another niche house. It will be a, a series, and at the end of the series, I will have a top 10 of my collection, but it will be a calculated way of how I came up with my top 10. And you can follow me every step of the way. So please go ahead and subscribe if you don't want to miss it. Coming in at number 20 is from the house of Montel, and that's Crystal Oud. With this, you're going to get like ooh, you're going to get saffron, you're going to get a green apple note, you're going to get a melon note, very fruity mix, along with the oud and some saffron that makes it very creamy. It's very smooth, but I think it kind of leans feminine. Still a nice scent that you can wear male or females. I think you would like it at number 20, Crystal Oud. Coming in at 19, it's from the House of Macera, and that's Hindu Kush. Now with this, you're gonna get spices, you're gonna get a green cannabis, you're gonna get patchouli. Now this is very woody, spicy, aromatic scent. Very nice, easy to wear. It's not too offensive. You probably would like it at number 19, Hindu Kush. Coming in at number 18, and that's from the House of Montel, and that's Oud and Pine. You're gonna get a lot of dark green notes along with the oud, but it's very spicy with the saffron. So we're gonna get vetiver that's not loud, it's just sit back. But it's a very nice scent from the House of Montel. Very hard to find, you have to go on certain sites to find it, but it, nevertheless, it's one Montel to me that doesn't project and the life is not long. You get about six to seven hours on it, still very a nice scent. I think you would like it. Montel, oud, and pine. Coming in at number 17 from the house of Mancera, and that's Oud Blue Notes. You're gonna get some oceanic notes that's kinda give you that beachy vibe. You get some floral notes at the top also. You're also gonna get some citruses and vanilla. It's a very beachy scent, kinda puts you in the mind of Oud Lemon Mint, but this is more of a aquatic version of it. Very nice for the summer and the spring. Any age can wear it. a very nice aquatic blue scent, Mancera Oud Blue Notes. Now coming in at number 16, and this is from the house of Mancera, and that is Wild Fruits. Now at the top of this, you're going to get a lot of fruity notes. You get some black currant. You're also going to dry down to a nice musk. It's in the same vein as Silver Mountain Water, but this might be a little bit more fruitier. You got some spices that sits to the side. Nevertheless, a very nice summer spring scent. It will get you compliments. Every time I wear this, I remember last time I went to the store and this guy, he was about three feet away. He, was, he told me how nice this was. It's it's very complimented scent. I think you will enjoy it. Wild Fruits Mascara. Coming in at number 15, and this is from the house a Montel, and this is Oud Lime. Now with this, you're gonna get a lot of saffron, you're gonna get some Oud, you're gonna get some citruses. Lime is actually not listed in this note. Give you a very limey accord, and it's very nice. It used to be one of my favorites. As you know, fragrances are subjective, and one month, it might be at the top of your list, and the other month, it might fall to the bottom, but right now, this falls to the bottom. It's a very nice aromatic summer scent with some heavy oud. It's kind of dark. It's a dark summer scent that's very nice with that citrus, bergamot, uh, lime accord with some oud, some spices from the saffron. It's a very nice scent, but at the time, at number 15, oud lime. Coming in at number 14, it's from the House of Mancera, and that is Sand Oud. Now with this, you're gonna get some nice spices. You're gonna get some saffron. 
You're going to get Black Current. It's kind of similar to Jubilation from Unwatch, where Jubilation has a Blackberry note. This gives you like a Black Current note, but it's in the same vein. Spicy, woody, with a little oud. It's a very nice scent. I think you would like it. Sand oud. Coming in at number 13, it's from the House of Massera, and that is oud vanilla. The top of this, you're going to get like some pepper. You're going to get some oud. You're going to get this boozy vanilla. It's woody. Got a little sweetness. It's a very nice scent. Compliments will come from this, but you have to get past that, that opening. The opening is kind of not one of the greatest openings, but the dry down is why the magic appears. And it's a very complimented scent. You get that boozy vanilla with some spices, some oud, with some black pepper. I think you would like it. At number 13, oud vanilla. Coming in at number 12, it's from the House of Marcera again, and that's black gold. Now this is mainly a musky scent. At the top, you're gonna get some spices from the cinnamon. You're gonna get some spices from the nutmeg. You're gonna get an oud. And then it's mainly musk, all musk. Now I heard some people say that this is kind of an old man scent, but to me it's very bright. I have had people ask me about this fragrance and ask what I was wearing because they liked it. I mean, it's mainly musk. It's mainly cinnamon, nutmeg with some oud. It's very different. This, now, this is a very unique scent. If you want to smell different, with that nice musk, bright oud, it's very good. I think you would like it. Now, coming in at number 11 is from the house of Montel, and that is oud tobacco. Now, this is a dry kinetic leaf tobacco. You get some spices. Then you get like a honey accord. You also gonna get some oud. And I mean, it's very nice. The honey accord is very smooth with some spices. The oud in this is very light. And the combination, it makes it kind of a honey, spicy, tobacco scent with a little bit touch of oud in the background. It's a very nice tobacco scent that's not heavily dominated by the tobacco note. Combination is mixed and blended very well. You get some creaminess, I think, from sandalwood, but nevertheless, it's a very nice scent. I think you would like it at number 11, oud tobacco. And this is another tobacco scent, and that scent is red tobacco. With this, you're gonna get, you're gonna get some spices from cinnamon, nutmeg. You're gonna get some dried fruits. The tobacco is like a, a pipe cherry tobacco. If you open the back and you smell it, that's exactly what this smell like with some darkness of the oud. It's woody. This is a very nice complex scent. The only thing about this, people might not enjoy it around you, but to me, it's a top favorite of mine. It's just hard to find occasion to wear it, but nevertheless, it's a very nice scent. Smell of pipe tobacco with nutmeg, spices, Cinnamon, very complex, very unique. Probably won't get you compliments, but it's very nice. Check it out. Coming up at number nine, at the number nine spot, and that's from the House of Montel, and that is Intense Cafe. You're talking about a nice dark chocolate coffee scent. You get some floral notes of roses, geranium. You get some coffee with vanilla. You get some oud. It's very nice. Complimented scent, beast mode scent. You don't have to spray a lot. A couple of sprays, you'll be set. People will love it on you who love coffee, dark roasted coffee, vanilla, spices, with oud, with that floral aspect of rose and geranium, gourmand coffee scent, if you're into coffee scents and you want to check it out. Number nine, Intense Cafe. Now coming in at number eight, it's from Montel, and that is Honey Oud. Now with this, you're gonna get some nice spices from nutmeg, maybe some cinnamon. You're gonna get a honey accord, and honey is not listed. You're gonna get patchouli, or earthy patchouli. You're gonna get some dark notes. 
You're gonna get some spices with that smooth honey. You're gonna get some dark amber with the smooth honey accord that's very spicy, very unique, long lasting, compliment getter, honey oud. Coming in at number seven from the House of Montel, and that is red oud. Now with this, you're gonna get some saffron, you're gonna get some oud, you're gonna get the tonka bean. That, now the tonka in this is very chocolate, so you're gonna get a chocolate gourmand with that oud, get some spicy saffron. Now this is a beast. It's kind of in the same vein as Intense Cafe. But Intense Cafe focuses more on the coffee. Red Oud focuses more on the chocolate, the tonka bean, which is giving it that chocolate note. It's very smooth, creamy, with saffron, oud. You get tonka, you get some spices, you're gonna get vanilla. Now you're talking about a very nice gourmand scent that a lot of people are not talking about. Red Oud is one of them. It's very sweet, with darkness of Oud, woody, nice compliment scent, Red Oud. And then at number six, there's another one from Montel that no one's talking about, and that is Oud Flowers. Now this is one of my favorite floral scents. You get some florals from Rose, Geranium, you're gonna get some Oud. It's very smooth with sandalwood. It's creamy, it's very oody, it's very floral, it's very spicy. This is another unique scent that no one is talking about. Oud's Flower is one of my favorite from Montel. It's very different and unique. I think you would like it. I enjoy it. Oud Flowers. Now coming in at number five, and this is one of my favorite patchouli scents. And that's patchouli leaves from Montel. You're gonna get some amber, you're gonna get some vanilla, and a heavy dose of patchouli. Now the patchouli in this is very earthy. It's very woody. It has enough sweetness from the amber and the vanilla. It makes it a very standout patchouli scent that's not too earthy. People will enjoy it on you, but just go light on the trigger because this thing is a beast. Two sprays and you will get a five feet radius. Anything more than that, you're probably gonna choke people out. And they're probably not gonna enjoy it. But you go two sprays or less, and this thing is a beast. One of my favorite patchouli scents, patchouli leaves. Coming in at number four, and that's from the house of Massera, and that is Cidre Boris. Oh, this you gonna this is nice, man. Um, I hate this is not number my number one. There's better ones in my opinion, but this is very nice. You're gonna get some lemon. You're gonna get some black currant with some vanilla that makes it sweet. You're gonna get some leather that makes it kind of manly. It's a very unisex scent. A lot of people compare this to Aventus from Creed, but to me, this is a better smelling version of that. The black currant with some vanilla. You get spices, it's fruity. I think you will enjoy it. And number three from the house of Montel and that is white food. Now you're talking about a creamy, sweet vanilla with some oud, sandalwood, some saffron, and you're gonna get some rose. A very nice complimented scent. Every time I wear this, I swear, people always ask me what I'm wearing because it's a very nice, unique, vanillic scent with enough oud in the background that makes it manly, the sandalwood that makes it creamy. You got a little spice. And then you get some floral notes of rose. I think you will like it. Coming in at number three. White oud. Before I get to my number two, just want to let you know you really don't have to spend a lot of money on niche fragrances. You can check out my clone video. I have over 30 clones of popular niche fragrances that you can get for $56 to $70. If you haven't checked it out yet, you might want to check it out. I will leave the link to the video at the end of this video. So if you haven't checked it out now, you might want to check it out if you don't want to spend money on niche fragrances. It's a very nice video. Check it out. But now, back to number two. And number two is from Massera, and that fragrance is Instant Crush. Now this is often compared to Baccarat Rouge but I think this is more sexier. 
at the top you're gonna get ginger you're gonna get vanilla you're gonna get saffron it's a sweet vanilla saffron fragrance that puts you in the mind the baccarat rouge but it's very it's a little bit more spicier with the ginger it's the vanilla give it sweetness and then you're gonna get saffron this is another stellar fragrance from Mancero a stellar performer that will get you compliments one of my favorites but it's not my favorite so that one is coming up next and coming up next for those who watch my channel I think you know what fragrance this is at the number one spot and it's coming from the house of Mancera and that is Oud Lemon Mint now you're talking about a compliment getter you're talking about projection you're talking about uniqueness you're talking about a beast as far as performance at the top you're gonna get this bright lemon accord then you're gonna get some creamy from the almonds you're gonna get some spices from the amber you're gonna get vanilla you get a slight bit of mint in the background blended very well very nice for the spring and the summer with some uniqueness latest love this on you it's masculine with enough of the almonds that makes it soft and creamy enough of the amber and the vanilla that makes it spicy and sweet I don't pick up on any oud but nevertheless one of my favorite compliment getters I think you would like it I think the people around you would like how you smell at the number one spot Macero oud lemon mint check this video out see you soon peace